Hey guys, so I had a, a bit of a lucky break a while ago and had a friend uh, contact me uh, who had some scrap available and it was the same guy that I got the old um, those those big boards with the ceramic memory that I probably processed about a year ago so the same guy contacted me, they'd scrapped a few more machines and um, as it happened he had quite a lot of boards for me and that's worked out really nice and so as you can see here, I got quite a lot of good stuff off it. I've got some, uh, just your, your kind of your general, so everything that we're looking at here is ceramic. I didn't keep anything plastic, so these are all ceramic. You can see you've got a nice big uh, ceramic uh, analog to digital converters. And I've got a few of those. There's like another big, big ceramic something. Quite a lot of these little uh, little chips, gold legs. Um, they they have a so that the top isn't gold plated, but um, internally quite a. These actually have gold bond wires and uh, quite nice. I've processed a few of these to see what kind of yields they do. Um, quite a lot of these as well. I've processed a set of these as well. So they're the ones with the with the gold lids. They produce very nice yields. You can see here I've got some uh, gold lids from ones that I've had through the ball mill just to break the lids off. Um, but yeah, what I want to actually do today, so this, that's all, that's all that kind of stuff. This was the, the, these are all ceramic as well, and this is, this is stuff that I just air hammered off of boards because they were actually soldered on. And I haven't actually processed any of this yet, and I thought maybe today uh, you guys can join me and we'll have a go and see what this stuff is, is actually worth. So this is all about kind of 14 to 22 pin ceramic dip ICs and um, I've broken apart a fair few of them and I've got a few examples here and pretty much probably more than better than 90% of them that I've broken apart um, have, have been the, the kind of the gold plating with the gold braze. I haven't seen any of them with gold bond wires but that's okay the uh, as we know the, um, the gold braze works out really well usually on these so what I was thinking of doing today is I'm just going to grab any random handful of these. I'm going to count them out to be, a, a, you know, we might choose, might choose 100 or might choose 150. I'll, I'll let you guys know what I choose, but basically just uh, a good number to fit in a beaker. And then we'll process these and just see what we end up with in terms of gold. And then if I extrapolate that, I should have some rough idea of what this uh, this bucket basically is going to be worth uh, just based on weight. So yeah, I'll quickly um, basically grab a handful of these. That's those are the ones I'll put them aside. Those are the ones we're going to test. So it's completely random. And then I'll I'll show you guys what they look like under the microscope. The ones I've cracked open because it's quite interesting. Just looking, you can actually see the the gold braze fairly well. And then I'll just very quickly show you how I'm going to prepare them for processing. And then we'll get on with it. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I have chosen three of these ICs that I've broken open and for the obvious reason that they show basically the three different die sizes that I'm expecting to see. Um, there might be more, but these just happen to be three that came easily. So I'll show you guys what we're really interested in here if we zoom in on this guy a little bit, the smallest one. Um, I'm going to go all the way down. Let's go to about there, just get the focus in and the stuff we really care about is not so much the there we go with the center not so much the gold around the outside so the stuff around the outside is not so it's not so thick but you can actually see the how thick the braze part of it is so the braze part is the gold that that kind of looks like it's melted and that is what's actually holding that little silicon die uh, onto the kind of gold plated bottom that we've got there. So we'll, we'll be basically dissolving away all of this gold, uh, leaving just the ceramic and the dye behind. And we, we'll know we're finished when, when all those little dyes have fallen off of the ceramic uh, su substrate because we've removed all the gold braze underneath them. As you can see there, as I said, you've got uh, aluminium bond wires. So fairly easy to deal with. If we just jump to the next one here, see if I can get them in focus. Yeah, so same kind of thing there. Um, what's really nice is the there's a lot of it's not a very good word, but there's a lot of 3D-ness to the to the gold braze on that. So the thicker that gold braid braises, the more gold we're going to get, quite obviously. 
and if we go to the big uh, silicon die, so this one actually, if you look at it carefully, you'll see it actually has two silicon dies. It's got the, the very big one, and then it's got a little one off to the side. But once again, you can see uh, fairly clearly that there is um, some depth to the to the gold braze on that. So yeah, looking forward to uh, getting into these things. And um, yeah, let me go and uh, show you guys how we're going to process them. Okay, guys. So my handful of ICs ended up being 103 ICs per handful and so I've just subtracted three ICs we've got a hundred in here and um, what I'm going to do with these now is I've got my uh, my anvil and I've got a little engineer's hammer quite a little small one and what you want to do or what I'm going to do is essentially grab the little ceramic IC put it on on its side on the anvil give it a few taps like that and usually with without too, too much difficulty you can break off the the top lid comes loose and you've still then got all the legs in there so if you just grab the actual legs and peel them uh, you might use a side cutter if it's if it's not easy to do you can actually um, just peel peel out all of the peel out all of the legs and then that's just going to go into the container um, so what I will do now is I'll just start a stopwatch so we get some idea also of how much time this is going to take for 100 ICs and then we can work out the profit profitability of uh, of doing this kind of thing okay guys so i've managed to shuck 100 of those uh, ICs and it took me about 28 minutes and 4 seconds to shuck those so we'll take that into account when we work out how profitable these things are so i've kept 100 that have gold brays and I actually had about 20 here as you can see there which have either silver or some other material for the braze so these I'm, I'm not going to bother with um, but I've basically picked out another 20 and we've got we've ended up with a hundred of the gold braze ones so yeah let's get into the uh, chemical processing and see how they go okay guys so no surprise here for those of you that have watched a few of my videos I've uh, put those ceramic logic ICs in the bottom of a one liter beaker. I've covered them with as little as possible uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid, 38%. And you can see, you guys might not be able to see so clearly, but if you see the white on the top of the ICs, what that is, is the, um, the glue that is used to bind the top and bottom of ceramic ICs together. As soon as that hits hydrochloric, it turns to a white powder like that. Uh, don't panic too much about that because it filters out really easily. So no big surprises here. Cover it in hydrochloric acid and then when I get this up to about 75 degrees Celsius I will start adding a little bit of nitric acid. I'm probably going to give it about 2 milliliters to start off with which might be a little bit too much but um, getting the reaction to happen well underneath the dye you need it to be a little bit on the strong side um, of course after that we will denox with sulfamic acid so that won't be much of a problem but yeah I'll get this done and um, then see you guys a bit later hey guys so I've got the results here from those 100 units of uh, mixed ceramic logic ICs and as you can see they're a fairly disappointing yield I guess uh, you never want to be counting your gold before you've got it in the beaker I was kind of hoping for about 0.2 grams or so from those 100 units but I don't think we're going to be anywhere near that looking at this uh, on the plus side I got a very nice clean drops out of this stuff so there's not that much other crap in there but the gold braze is just definitely not the kind of thickness that I was expecting but yeah that's uh, you know how it goes sometimes you wouldn't know unless you try so uh, yeah let's get this stuff on the scale and um, see what we've got So I'm just going to add my existing container on, zero that off once we've got it nice and stable, a bit of zoom so you guys can, can see what we're dealing with. And let's get it in there, so I was, as I said I was hoping for about 0.2, I think I'm going to be lucky if this is 0.1, um, I'm hoping the scale is going to be good enough I'm going to give it a little bit of movement while I'm adding it just to overcome the uh, just to overcome the zero tracking in the scale that's something to be aware of when you're measuring 
very light things is that the scale kind of um, the scale will try to keep at zero so if you're adding very light things slowly you can actually add quite a lot to the scale without it actually changing but that's actually not as bad as I was expecting so 0 0.15 grams not very good but it's it's in the ballpark at least so um, yeah let's do some put that away as a matter of interest keep an eye out probably in a week or two I'm going to be uh, doing a second refine on all of this gold and uh, we'll do my final weigh-in for the year which should be should be relatively interesting I was aiming for about three ounces this year but I think that's going to be well and truly smashed uh, by what's in there uh, no idea but you know stay tuned next week we'll have a look okay so 100 units gave us 100 units gave us uh, 0 0.15 grams and the value of 0 0.15 grams in New Zealand dollars at $60 a gram is about $9. So uh, that suggests that there is only about, uh, let's do the, the gold amount first because that's more useful to most of you guys. So luckily working with nice round numbers. So it's only a 0 0.0015 gram per IC and the, that is equivalent to about uh, 9 cents New Zealand at the $60 uh, New Zealand a gram. So yeah, at these kind of rates uh, I've definitely got better material to process. I'm a little bit disappointed but you know sometimes you have surprises in a good way and sometimes you have surprises in a bad way. Anyway, I uh, hope this video is useful to you guys and um, see you guys next time.